Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Temple. Happy New Year. I know it's already halfway through January, but I haven't made a video since last year. And, you know, I just wanted to tell everyone Happy New Year. And, you know, this year is going to be great. So what, what are we talking about today? I was browsing through YouTube uh, not too long ago. And, I, you know, it was one of those recommended videos that kind of pop up every single time you go into YouTube. And there was this video that I saw. It's pretty much CNN having an interview with the president of Kenya. And the topic that they want to talk about was the LGBT and that, like his personal view on, you know, on the subject and like how important it is to him. The thing is, CNN was trying to make this like a gotcha moment, kind of like, oh, you know, how do you really feel about the LGBT? Is it like the number one priority on your list or whatever? And so when I watched the video, it actually got me really thinking about like what was said. Just so you guys have an idea, let's just watch through the video first real quick. You know, human rights situation in parts of Africa and including in your own country. You yourself gained worldwide attention a few years ago when you said there was, quote, no room for homosexuality in Kenyan society. I want to know whether you still stand by that. We have um, Kenyan law. We have Kenyan constitution. We have our tradition. We have our customs. We will continue to respect other people's customs as they respect our customs and our tradition. I am very clear, I am very clear that we respect everybody and what they believe in, but we also have what we believe in and we expect to be respected for what we believe in. One of the major issues, and it's a holdover from sort of colonial Victorian, is the issue of sexual preference in many African countries. In Kenya, to be gay, the LGBT community is, is illegal. They just want to have equal rights, the same privacy and equality as all other Kenyans do. Is that something that you aspire to for your country? I want to be very clear, uh, uh, Christiana. Uh, there is, I will not engage in a subject that is of no, it, uh, it, it is not of any major importance to the people and the Republic of Kenya. This is not an issue, as you would want to put it, of um, human rights or this. This is an issue of society, of our own base as a culture, as a people, regardless of which community you come from. This is not acceptable. This is not agreeable. So he's basically saying homosexuality is not agreeable. You've just said that you're kind of trying to thread the needle, that the law says one thing, but you respect everybody's rights. Will a Ruto administration crack down, like many other leaders in Africa, on the homosexual LGBTQ community, or will you allow them their human rights and I their think civil rights? On that subject, President Kenyatta was spot on. We do not want to create a mountain out of a molehill. This is not a, a big issue for the people of Kenya. When the people of, when it becomes a big issue for the people of Kenya, the people of Kenya will make a choice. As it is now, we are grappling with five million young people who do not have jobs, four million people who are hungry, and that is my concern. That is the focus of the people of Kenya at the moment. When the issue you have discussed about homosexuality and the rights of LGBT will come, the people of Kenya will make a choice and we will respect the choice of the people of Kenya. For now, Christian Amanpo. So yeah, so that's the end of the video. So you're probably asking yourself, like, why why am I showing you this video right now? You know, like this topic is completely irrelevant at this point. Like nobody really talking about this anymore. It's, it's an old topic. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because he he made a lot of good points, right? And I started noticing that like everywhere I go, like where where when anywhere there's like you know social media, whether it's YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, anywhere you go in America, all people ever fucking talk about is gender, sex, sexual preferences, and it's just the same shit that's being spewed by the media, you know? And last year, I was on Reddit, I was browsing, right? And then, like, the only thing that people ever talk about is, like, their sexuality and, like, all this shit. And, and then you kind of have to pause. Like, I did. Just just, just pause real quick. Why the fuck are we talking? Why is this the only topic we ever talk about in America, you know? So, 
the CNN lady was trying to push her agenda and ideology on Kenya, right? On the president of Kenya. And if you listen to the video, he's like, okay, cool, cool. Listen, I, I, I respect your, your, your idea, your thought. I respect the people. As long as you respect me, I will respect you. But at the same time, I'm trying to run a country and I have people starving. I have people like don't have any water. I have people that that's like trying to get education that doesn't exist. I have other shit to worry about. You know, like it's not he's not saying that, like, I don't give a shit about the LGBT community. He's just saying that, like, dude, that's that's an American problem. That's something that you guys, you know, prioritize. But that's not something that we prioritize. And like when he said all that, it, it, it made a lot of sense in my head, you know, and, and like I was saying earlier, everywhere you go, social media is telling you, oh, worry about this, worry about that. But what you don't know is like everything that, that you hear, there's a gain to it, you know. So when people talk about like the LGBT community from the political perspective, they want to get your vote. Or if you say anything against like the LGBT or gender or sexual preferences or whatever, you know, you're you're at risk of being canceled. You know, so like why the fuck do we bother talk about like any of this shenanigans, you know? And be- before, be- I'm, I'm going to take a time break, time out, right? Before you start making an assumption, oh, Tony doesn't care about the LGBT. That is not what I'm saying at all, right? I- I'm, I'm saying like, okay, I get it. The LGBT movement is important. I-, I am for it, but at the same time, I'm not a part of it. So why the fuck do I put so much of my effort and energy and thought into something like this, you know? And on top of that, if all of that is being pushed on me through like social media and, and I'm fucking sick of it. Another thing I want to say is if you put your life or just just life in general into like a video game, you know, every action there's always going to be like a net positive or a net negative. I'm starting to realize that like the more time I spend on Reddit, the more time I try to talk about these kind of topic, it's always been a net negative. You know, it, nothing good has ever happened to me in my life when, when I talk about this kind of topic. But by the end of the day, none of it fucking matters. Right. The only thing that matter is the present, the right, right now, what's in front of you. You know, like genuine thing that should you you should worry about. You know, just like if you were a president of your life, why are you worrying about like topics of like shit and problems of other people that has nothing to do with you? You should prioritize your own life. You know, like own your own life, like own your own country. Like don't don't talk about the shit that the media is like you know shoving down our throat. I'm not, I'm just personally sick of it. You know, so this year. Uh, I decided to just uninstall Reddit. I'm gonna try to step away from social media for just a little bit, you know, because I I'm, I just don't want to hear this anymore. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, but to be honest, it's it's really hard to escape it because for for YouTube, right? In order to get views, you have to talk about things that are relevant. You have to talk about things that like people have to click on, you know. And this is the one thing that people like to click on, I guess. And, and like when it comes to YouTube, where people talk about like all these all these topics just to rage bait, just to like get everyone to talk about it, you know. And the more people watch it, the more revenue these YouTuber will get, right? And then we're just cycling. We're just feeding the beast. It's just cycling the same content, talking about shit that like. You know why? Why the fuck are we talking about this shit so much? You know, like I want to be able to be talk, to be talk about like really important things in my life. You know, like to me that's more important. And just just for just for another topic, just to put all this shit to rest. I, let, let, let's talk about something really important right now, right? For me, I, I have this like this question in my head that I have not been able to figure out, and it's been like grinding my gear. What I want to know is who the fuck designed a new Fire Emblem character? I'm going to put on the screen right now, and you don't have to be a Fire Emblem fan to understand this, but like, look, look at this character. This character has a red and blue hair split dynamic, and I think it's just like really fucking ugly. I don't know. I, I've just never been a fan of like, you know, mixed combination of hair. For one, it's not natural, and second, it looks stupid, and like, I don't think the hair color for Fire Emblem character has any, any relevancy with the story. You know, if you watch like My Hair Academia, Toridoki, he has like red and white hair, you know, represent the fire and the ice. So that kind of makes sense. Like, I think it looks kind of stupid, but at the same time, you know, it, it, it kind of makes sense. When I saw this character, it reminded me of like going to the movies, you know, and I'm watching like a 3D movie. They give you like the red and blue glasses. You know, th- this is what <laughs> this is what this character remind me of. And like, I'm a huge fan of like 3D waifus, but this is not what I'm talking about. I don't know. We'll we'll see when the game comes out. Maybe my change my mind would change. You know, seeing how how good the game is. But at the moment, I, I'm very upset with like the Fire Emblem design design characters, uh, character design. Oh, I'm 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 just predicting this. But before anybody get offended, oh, just because I'm talking about a fictional character with a split down, you know, with the hair being split in color, doesn't mean I'm talking about you, right? If you have that type of hair hairstyle, I, I'm not talking about you. Uh, I'm not talking about anybody in particular. Uh, don't make, don't be so self-centered just because I'm talking about something, I'm talking about you. So just keep that in mind. (laughs) Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody out there is going to get buttered, but whatever.
Yeah, but that's all I want to say about that. So the second thing that's grinding my gear right now is, is Chainsaw Man. So Chainsaw Man is, is a fantastic manga and a fantastic anime. You know, I, I would recommend it to anybody. It, it, it's good stuff. You can probably find it on Hulu. Why, why am I talking about this? The reason why I'm talking about this is I've already read through the manga, right? And, and the anime is happening right now. Whenever I'm on YouTube, I see people talk about the anime, but they are spoiling the living crap out of the anime, right? If you go to your channel and just search up like Chainsaw Man, and, and like you're you're gonna get spoiled. I'm sorry, you're, you're gonna get spoiled. It's unavoidable. And the issue that I'm seeing right now is people are putting like spoilers content in the thumbnail. You know, I'm not I'm I'm not gonna be that type of asshole that would like spoil it for you. But there are people that are doing that, and then there are like YouTube shorts of people talking about the anime, but then like. They put clips, like little snippets of the manga in it, which spoiled the whole entire fucking anime. Like, I've never seen an anime being spoiled so bad like Chainsaw Man. Like, why are we doing this, guys? Why you... Okay, I can understand that if you're talking about the manga and you're specifically just talking about the manga, you can spoil the living crap out of it, right? But if you're talking about the anime and without any warning, without any spoiler sign saying like, hey, you know, we're going to talk about the, the manga now. And, and you spoil it for the fans that you know that don't know what's coming. Like that, that's like that's fucked up, man. And I'm pretty sure this isn't the only anime that, that you know the fans are just spoiling the crap out of the manga. But this is the worst. You know, like everywhere I go, it, it's it's all over the place. And if you like Chainsaw Man, keep watching it until the end of the season. But try to avoid the internet. I, I know it's hard, but I'm letting you know right now, people are spoiling the living crap out of it all over YouTube, all over Twitter. You know, probably even on Reddit. I haven't been on Reddit in a while, but like I'm pretty sure it's up there too. But yeah, I don't know. It, that that's all. That's all I wanted to say. So I might be a hypocrite. You know, I, I even though I say I don't want to talk about these kind of topics that the media talk about all the time, but if time comes, I may talk about it. Don't hold me against it. You know, I'm just saying this is there are certain things worth talking about, but majority of the time it's not. Worry about your own stuff. This is what I'm worrying about. I'm worrying about Fire Emblem. I'm worrying about Chainsaw Man, and yeah. So that's all I wanted to say, and uh, yeah, y'all have a good day. Peace.